Welcome to this tutorial on speeding up Simulink. In this session, we will explore parallel simulation. In Simulink, we can enable parallel simulation to speed up simulation workflows by leveraging multi-core processors, clusters, and cloud computing resources. Parallel simulation allows us to execute multiple simulations simultaneously, making it an excellent solution for scenarios that require running the same model with different inputs or parameter settings. Common use cases using parallel simulation includes Monte Carlo analyses, parameter sweeps, model testing, experiment design, model optimization. By utilizing parallel simulation, we can accelerate large-scale simulation tasks, making it an essential tool for efficient model analysis and design exploration. In this example, we will showcase the performance benefits of parallel simulation by running 50 simulations of the same model and comparing the simulation time with and without parallel simulation. We begin by running the 50 simulations sequentially in a for loop, with fast restart and accelerator mode enabled to avoid recompilation between simulations and improve execution performance. Next, we enable parallel simulation by replacing the sequential for loop with the parsim command. This distributes the 50 simulations across multiple cores. In this case, there are six CPU cores. When using the parsim command for parallel simulation, we can monitor the progress and status of your simulations in real time with the simulation manager. This tool provides a visual and interactive interface to track the performance of each simulation. As observed, the total simulation time is reduced compared to the sequential method. This demonstration also showcased the combination of different techniques to speed up the simulations, such as fast restart and accelerator mode. This chart summarizes the simulation performance for the example, where 50 simulations were executed using both serial and parallel methods with six CPU cores. Total simulation time was 1.4 times faster compared to the serial simulation. Let's do another experiment where we will use the same model and configurations as before, but increase the number of simulations from 50 to 100. This will help us understand how the performance scales with a larger workload. It is expected that the relative performance gain with 100 parallel simulations should improve because the worker setup time and communication overhead become less significant as the workload increases, leading to better scalability. This chart summarizes the simulation performance, where 100 parallel simulations achieved a 2x speedup compared to 1.4x speedup with 50 parallel simulations. The results align with scalability expectations. Increasing the workload, number of simulations, improves the speedup factor as parallel computing becomes more efficient. Overhead becomes less significant when distributed across more simulations. This result demonstrates how parallel simulation becomes increasingly advantageous as the size of the simulation task grows. To wrap up, we have explored several techniques to accelerate Simulink simulations without altering the underlying model, such as using fast restart, accelerator modes, and parallel simulation. These methods focus on optimizing the execution and initialization processes while maintaining model fidelity. While these techniques offer substantial performance improvements, there are additional ways to further enhance simulation performance by improving the model itself. In the next session, we will explore methods to refine and optimize the model structure and settings. Stay tuned!